Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm on my way to Sikior. We're about to board this ocean jet very fast craft and it's going to take us about 45 minutes to get to the island. Um, I'm pretty much the last passenger to, well I actually boarded earlier but I've come out here to show you this ocean jet craft here. Look, it's one of these very quick crafts. Are you the captain sir? No. No? I'm a J officer. <laughs> You're the one? Yeah, J officer. Uh, assistant captain. Oh okay, okay, nice. So, we're ready to go? Yeah, yeah? we're waiting for the clearance. Oh, we're waiting for clearance. Have you been to many ports or no? No, only Siki Hort, Tagbilaran, Cebu. Oh, okay. Is this the cleanest port? I think so. All right, I think so too. <laughs> the waters in Dumaguete are yeah. crazy. You can see, they're very clean. So port. beautiful. I was swimming in it the other day. Look at these waters, folks. It's like we're on a remote island, but we're not. We're on the second biggest city of the Negros Island. This is Negros Oriental, yeah. right? Yeah, Oriental is the east side of the island, Occidental is the west. It's a fantastic day to be going to secure right now. We've got this great weather window, I believe, for the next two, three, four days. So fortunate. The weather around other parts of Southeast Asia looks terrible, but here in Dumaguete, in Negros Oriental, it's fantastic. Okay. okay, we're good to go, yeah? All right. Okay, and this is what the fast crafts look like. It's actually split into two sections. The back section over here, and then the front section. And I'm seated right on the top right corner with my luggage in the corner over there. Um, you do get like a little TV. Oh, is there a CR? CR at the end, okay. Look at this. I mean, they've got a lot of seats on this ocean ocean jet ferry. Look, a lot of it is still vacant, which is good, because if you get like a, a seat that you don't really like, you can just hop out your seat and then maybe go to your desired seat, which is what I'm gonna do um, at the front end, because I'm sat right at the front of the ship with no windows. I'm gonna move back a couple of seats or rows down to get a window view. This is the seat arm. Is it currently occupied? It's occupied? Oh, okay. There we are. And then female CR in there too. Wow, wow. Look how better, look how much better this female CR looks. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you buy yourself a ticket, they'll give you a seat number, an allocated seat number that you must kind of like follow. And the seat numbers are all attached up here. Look at that, we've got flat screen TV on the ship. Wait, we've even got a second floor for business class passengers only. Oh, wow. Wow, the aircon is much stronger up here. And the seats are a lot better. Look at this. Ooh, fancy Ooh. seats. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I wonder how much more you have to pay for a business class. And you're positioned higher on the deck and they're reclining seats as well. Look at that. Ooh. I'm kind of jealous. Next time, I'll book business class with Ocean Jet. It's so much more quiet too. Oh, and I'll show you how much I paid for this Ocean Jet ferry. Oh, sorry, sir. All oh, right. I think my ticket is on my seat. Yes. Here we are. So we paid 15 peso for a terminal fee. Did you see there? And then the actual ticket was 350 pesos. Right. Time to move over to a window seat. Yeah, I'll take this window seat right here. You see these seats are a lot more narrow. There's a lot less leg space. And they're made out of this plastic that's been woven together. Damn, I wasn't expecting it to be this narrow. We've set off, folks. Look at this. It's now just a 45 minute boat ride to Sikio Island. Woo! Let's get going. All right, <laughs> we're gonna subscribe here. Yeah, I'm a subscriber. Second time you're meeting me, right? Yeah. The, the first time was in BGC, now it's yeah. your. Yeah. That's crazy. Another, another one. Huh? Another one, wow. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice to meet you, enjoy Sikior. Huh? I am, yeah. yeah. I am, I am. Family. Okay, nice to go. See you, yeah. bye bye, bye bye. bye. Oh my god, folks! Look how blue these waters are! 
This is unreal. They even blew it. I didn't do Maggetti. These are like El Nido waters. Oh wow. So yeah folks, we've arrived to the island of Sikiyo. I've just disembarked from the ocean jet ferry. And we're now gonna go over and catch a taxi. Or a train. I don't think they have taxis here. Oh my god, look at the way the water is glistening right now. It's like somebody put a huge bright light under the seabed and it's just illuminating these beautiful waters. I just don't get why you would do this backpacking life when you can just do this. Okay. What? Uh, can you take me to a um, cafe? Nice cafe with internet? With internet? Yeah. yeah, you can try there. We have also in part of San Juan, you can try the uh, Dainan's Cafe. Right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. No need to take trike, yeah? Oh, okay, thank you. This cafe here, ha Hanin's, Hanin's Cafe. Oi. And I'm gonna grab myself something to eat and upload my video. How do I open this? This is push. Oh, wow. Well, I'll take a seat here. Damn, this cafe is round. If you ignore that and you take a look at the menu, there is so much food here. And it all looks rather appetizing. We got a breakfast menu. Oh my God, that looks appealing. Baked beans? Oh my God, I might seriously have to look into getting that. And it's only 290 pesos, that is a deal. We got some more healthy food alternatives, as well as your stand Filipino breakfast meals. We got cheeseburgers here, big burgers, pizza, pasta. How much are the pasta and the pizza? Oh my lord, pizza for 295 pesos. I am I am gobsmacked how cheap this is. More Filipino food here, such as like pancit. And then you get like family sets like this, which I saw this family eating earlier. And then you also have sushi here. Look at this, they do sushi. How much is this sushi bridge? 799 pesos. We do have to order at the counter though. Hi man, um, can I get the four mini cheeseburgers? Slider. Slider burgers, yeah. How big are the burgers? Uh, pardon, How big are they? Like that big? Yes. Okay. All right, I just finished up eating my food and done my upload. You know what? That cafe isn't the most relaxing cafe to go to. The sheer amount of people that visit here is unreal. And it was so busy in there. Could hardly work. Hello. Oh, look, you got a little Thailand flag there. <laughs> right. I don't know, to be honest. I haven't booked an accommodation. Yeah, what's the name of the hotel? Don't have one yet. Yeah, there's a girl. But, but no, no destination. No destination? Yeah, I don't have a hotel yet. You go to the hotel? I don't, I don't have a hotel. Yeah. No hotel. Okay. Me, no hotel. Yeah, you go to there in... Uh, Which one? There, uh, uh, La Familia. La Familia. Is it good? Yes, oh. I'm gonna rent a motorbike. Yeah, they're in uh, and the window. Okay, La Familia. I'll check it out. Thanks for the suggestion. I'm gonna get a motorbike because I wanna go around town. Huh? How much? 350? Yeah. Which one? Mia or Aerox? Aerox. Oh, I like Aerox, but you know. Yeah, you have a bit. You have a. Uh, click. Oh. How much is the click? 350. 350. Oh. That's very nice. Alrighty folks, I've managed to secure myself a motorbike for the time in which I'm here at Sikior for 300 pesos from this um, from this shop here behind us. And I've got my luggage on top here, I've got my backpack in the seat, and then I've got my like string bags attached to my side. And we are now on our way to go look for an accommodation on the island. Take care mama Sita, take care mama! I have no idea where we're going, but we're driving because it is a hot and sunny day today. Look at what we have behind these houses. And, oh my goodness, I can't believe what I'm seeing with my eyes. We've got a jelly bee, jelly, jelly, jelly. Oi. All right, look at that. Jolly bee sikio. Alright, I've arrived to a lodging called Villa Marmarie 
and we're going to have a look at a room that's available. This is the last room that's available at this um, resort here, right by the beach. You see they've got their own little private beach front here with pretty clear waters from the shoreline. Um, closer to the shore, there's quite a few reefs and seaweed, but the suite is 4,500, did you say, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. And it's in one of these little houses here. Is it on the first floor or the second floor? Uh, the last one is upstairs. Oh, it's upstairs. Wow. What's this made from? Concrete. Concrete. But the other rooms are usually concrete with wood. I like this. Look at this. So neat. Oh, and this is the entrance? Yes. This is the view? Wow. Wow, it's quite windy up here. Oh, you've got some outdoor seating area here. Two armchairs. A, an outdoor sofa. A dining table here. Oh, I can imagine sunrise in this, is in this direction. Is sunrise in this direction? Oh, at the back. So where does it set? Oh, sunset is... On but... the side. Oh, on the side over there. Okay, I see. And then the room, or the suite, I should say, is this. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Looks like the bed has positioned in the middle. The bathroom is through here. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. CR? We're still fixing um, something in the sink. Uh, are you? Uh, this is the bathroom. The shower there, bathtub there. Okay, interesting. What's we are still fixing something about the sink. Ah, right? uh, okay. So it's your nook area. This is supposed to be some sort of like um... nook area where you can read. Okay, these are like tatami mats, no? Yes. So what am I supposed to do about the CR? Probably be ready in an hour. Oh, okay. So it's not ready now, right? Yeah, not yet. Oh, I see. I like the style, the exterior of these little suites here, and the fact that it's a beachfront sea view. But the only thing is, they don't have any generators, and Sikior is infamous for the power going out. But apparently, there has been no brownouts this week. But um, when there are brownouts, the power can go off two, three even more times a day for like periods of an hour or two. He's got this area here by the reception that's this deck that looks out onto the sea which is very beautiful and there's a nice breeze and gust through here it's really really good and actually on booking.com this place is going for 3,800 pesos a night right now the four five so if you book online you can get it cheaper but anyway let's pick up two more places that are within like about 3,000, 3,500 pesos and under, and then we'll pick and choose. I think this next place is around about two, four a night. Now, all the friends that have been to Sikiyo, they all recommend this one place called Coco Garden something resort, right? And I had a look and it looks nice, but the price is between six and 8,000 pesos for a pretty standard looking room yeah and i think to pay eight thousand pesos for a standard looking room is a little bit much especially if it's just a one bedroom i'm trying to find something with a bit more value for myself and for you guys watching at home in the event that you want to come to secure and find a great place to stay but this is going to be that video We're gonna try and find a decent place for tonight. All right, we've arrived to the next accommodation called Aloha's Seaside Resort. The seaside is actually just across the road here. And there's a little built up town in this area too, which I like, unlike the other place that we went to, which was basically in the middle of nowhere. They're doing a bit of construction work, hello. So, 
this is what the accommodation looks like. I think the reception is on the right here. And they've got a few little guest houses like this. Two five. Yeah, including the breakfast. Okay, can I see it? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, here it is. So this is the room. Got a TV mounted on the wall there. It's, we've got a bed here. Oh, that mattress looks hella thick. And I think it's pretty firm. So this is the bathroom. I see shower there, water heater installed onto the wall. We've got a Samsung air conditioning unit there, which I hope works. And then you've got your sink out here as well, as well as one in the bathroom too. Oh, we've got more at the back. Oh, this is nice and quiet. Wow. Is it the same? Yeah, the same. Same, same, but different. <laughs> ah, yeah, it is the same. Oh, but this one, this place is cooler. I kind of like this one more. I don't know why. This is better. Oh, right, folks. So I've checked into the accommodation. I've taken a shower. The time's around about 4.30 now, and I need to get some much needed dinner. And we're gonna head to a restaurant, which is about, I think a two to three minute drive down the road to a restaurant called Aroi Mak Mak. You know what, I was going to go look at one other accommodation which was like 1,200 pesos or 1,400 pesos per night but then when I came across Aloha it pretty much had everything I need comfortable room, comfortable bed, um, a water heater, a nice little courtyard with a pool and then it also has really fast internet like 300 to 400 megabits down and upload and that is essential for a YouTuber like myself when I got to upload these videos if you ignore the half-built road, look at these beautiful palm trees, man. Gives me Shargao vibes. And the weather is spectacular today. You can see sunset at this Aroi Mukbang restaurant. Where do we park? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna park here. I think somebody has opened this Thai restaurant beneath their house. Hello sir, are you open? Yes. Oh, you are? Seems like I'm the only one here. Look at this. Beautiful outdoor area. Right by the seashores. Actually at the entrance, there was a poster saying this has been voted one of the top 10 restaurants in the San Juan area. This is where I'm staying. And there's, I believe, accommodation up there or maybe workers just live up there, I don't know. Wow, look how much Thai food they have. Oh my goodness, it's a whole array. We've got some tom yum here, chicken cashew nuts, tom ka soup, some pakrapao, pad thai, koi khao soy noodles. Damn. And then we've got desserts too. And drinks. Salamat, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Well, right off the bat, the color looks a little different to that in Thailand. Let's see if the taste is similar. I wonder if it's spicy as well. It's pretty good for Krapao here in the Philippines. Mmm. 